Hello, my name is Jennifer Harris and I'm the Executive Director of Rainey Institute. Rainey Institute creates positive impact for hundreds of youth every year through engagement in the visual and performing arts. This would not be possible without the generosity of our foundations, corporations, and individuals who donate to Rainey every year. Today, we are thrilled to recognize the notable class of individuals who have impacted Rainey in many ways and who are forever part of our extended Rainey family. Our 2023 Glissando honorees embrace our Rainey values and their contributions allow our faculty to cultivate youth into positive, contributing citizens, into Rainey kids. Rainey kids are resilient, artistic, imaginative, nurturing, enthusiastic, and young at heart. Our distinguished class of honorees have played a vital role in developing a Rainey community and our Rainey kids. I'd like to introduce to you our 2023 Glissando honorees. Ted Horvath, Jermaine Gibeon, Councilwoman and Councilman Yvonne and Kevin Conwell, and Devin Chapman. I started at Rainey when I was eight years old. Uh, I heard about Rainey Institute when I was going to E Prep. Um, it, is, it offered an after school program with food and a selective art. When I first went to Rainey, I decided to play drums. Uh, it wasn't like a class, it was just private lessons. Um, then I heard the sound of the violin, fell in love with that and went into El Sistema. The, the attorneys at Squire Sanders and Dempsey, uh, who were the trustees of Rainey Institute, were looking for someone who could fill them in a little bit. The people at League Park Center gave them me. <laughs> and so I became a trustee of Rainey Institute. I got involved just right after I retired. I retired early, and there was a person on your board, a fabulous woman who made a lot of difference in, in Rainey. Her name was A. Grace Lee Mims. And she said, it'll only take, oh, like one meeting a month, and not in the summer. And so here I am, still here. It's been at least 25 years. It might be a little bit more. Dick Kaufman recruited me to um, introduce me to a lovely, beautiful lady that would walk the neighborhood and she cared for the children and she would recruit children to get into the arts. And Dick Kaufman introduced me to her, but I think back in 1976, they had a program called at Rainy, Teens in the Arts or Teens in Training. I would say for me, my first experience uh, was not as a participant, but uh, as my children. And I married uh, Councilman Conwell, and we had children, and I learned about Rainey Institute. Um, I think our children have taken everything that they could possibly take. I look at Rainey today, and I see them embracing all the new technology, but retaining the same spirit of working together and learning how to work with each other and having joy in what they're doing. I just saw that they're now starting very specialized cooking classes for teens. And I thought, my goodness, I never would have thought of that. The children got joy in their life the way I had when I was a child. It opens them to the world and to each other. It gives them joy is so expanding. And if you have the arts in your life and you can enjoy them, and you also have books and reading, you will never, ever be bored. And to build character, Rainy builds character in the children. It's not just um, uh, people playing, but at Rainy they teach them self-discipline, organizational skills, and. And those skills I learned that when I first met uh, Zandra Richardson uh, here at Rainey. Well, it was very interesting to me when I took my grandkids to participate in the programming, the staff still there from when my children went. And that in itself, I think, speaks 
volumes of any program. The dance teacher, the sewing teacher. I couldn't believe it. So if anything, I would say that speaks volumes in itself when, what is the time span? 20, 25 years mm -hmm. different from when I raised my kids to my grandkids being there and the same instructors were there. Still passionate, still caring about the mission that Randy has. I like that every staff member tried to engage with all the kids. Uh, Randy made me feel really comfortable um, being able to talk to each staff member like a parent or a father figure or something like of that sort. Um, it felt real, I felt real connected to that. Um, Going to Rainy at a young age, uh, it was an eye opener. It wasn't as strict as going to school. It was more freedom in the school. Growing up, there wasn't a lot of outlets. It was, it wasn't a lot of people to come to and talk to as a young uh, child. Um, I feel like going to Rainy was a, my happy place, a place I can be at ease and not have to worry about the stress of everyday life and the stress of school. You know what, one of the biggest things about Rainy is when you mention Rainy Institute, people smile. They smile. You see a Rainy Institute smile. There's a different smile, you have a smile here, but you say, Rainy Institute, man, you know them, they go, yeah, can Rainy Institute, man, and they smile. So, I mean, that's, that kind of stuff is cool beans, man. That's really My kids cool. always came home they met new friends from different neighborhoods, and they always, as my husband stated, they always came home with a smile. In the times that I've been at Rainey and been to their performances, that they just enjoy working together and they learn that joy at Rainey. They're eager, they enjoy themselves at Rainey, and they learn at Rainey. Rainy Kid is full of energy, they're loving, and they're kind. I'm excited um, and humbled at the same time because this is something that we do um, on a re everyday basis. I am currently the chair of Health and Human Services, uh, so we, we, we do have children in our care, Department of Children and Family Services, and as I stated earlier, I'm always looking at ways to expose them to things or events or agencies or any kind of organization that is going to help them and assist them with being a productive citizen along with enjoying childhood and life and that's that's the part that Rainy could um, really bring for them. This is my everyday passion is to get those children um, the help that they need so I'm very 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 humbled that somebody would recognize uh, something that I do already. For me to receive an award from Rainy, you know, I used to teach music here, you know, just working with the children. I mean, that's, that's the main thing. Um, the award is cool beans, but um, the outcome measure is to see the, the Rainy smile, that Rainy smile with the uh, uh, children. And that's, that means a lot to me. So that's, that's, um, that's where I'm at with that. I just chugged along and did what I could do to help Rainey achieve. We were very lucky. There are currently board members who participated tremendously in helping Rainey uh, become recognized as a viable place where kids can realize their potential. For that, I am very thankful for everybody in the community who uh, helped bring Rainey from an obscure little place that a little old lady who passed away prematurely visualized it would be, and I'm very grateful. I'm very proud, humbled, and honored because I know that kind of people who have made Rainy what it is today. And to be included among them is a very special privilege. I want to say thank you to Rainy. Um, I've been going to Rainy since I was eight and been teaching, giving back for four years. And coming back to teach was a big thing. 
I feel like I can give more back as a teacher than I can ever get back as a student. That Rainey helps make Cleveland a stronger community with young people growing up who can see the bigger picture and who know how to cooperate and work with each other. To tell the Clevelanders, please support, number one, support financially. Uh, I am so proud that Cuyahoga County Council, that they're actually expanding. It's been on, east, on the east side for many years, and now we'll be able to bring this, uh, this talent and this, uh, this, uh, this safe, other things, a safe environment over to the west side. Greater Cleveland, sign their kids up. Um, I think putting your kids into an after school program like Rainy can get them in the right direction. Um, give them the outlet they need, like I said before, and also give them the counseling they need. A lot of kids don't have the counseling. They only go to school. They're not able to, to let their emotions out. Rainy belongs in Cleveland. Rainy has a job to do in Cleveland. That's really my message.